Alrighty then, let us do this. Let us take over the terminal. I have got some blue arms, just, just despite being a um uh, uh, a red. Th th I wow, what is going on, everybody? My name is Hypercore Ripper, and today we are back playing Ravenfield. That is right, guys. Ravenfield is once again back on the channel, and in case you can't already see from the title as to what we are doing today. It was at this point that Hypercore's neighbors then drove a digger into their front garden and started making this lovely, lovely freaking noise. I've cleaned it up as best as I can, so if you hear any diggers in the background, I apologize. Well, we're looking at some more custom maps and weapons because I love it, and clearly a lot of you seem to love it as well. But without further ado, let us get into this. These are some of the weapons that I've got downloaded for us. As you can see, I have got a bunch of fidget spinner weapons downloaded because uh, later on in the video, well, we're going to be... <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be fighting on a fidget spinner. But this first map that we're going to look at is called Terminal. Terminal is an existing map from a lovely, amazing, wonderful little game called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And if you enjoyed the video, guys, then please drop a like down below. And I've got another question for you. If you could create another player team for Ravenfield, what would they be called? What would they stand for? And most importantly, what would they look like? Would they, for example, oh, I bet they wouldn't look as good as me. I really don't know where to start today. I've got so many weapons downloaded. I think I'm going to go with unlimited power first. We're going to swap the four barrel pistols out for a <laughs> for a fidget spinner pistol and then we're gonna call upon the detergent weapon of photism uh. that is a very very interestingly named weapon right there i wonder what the hell it's gonna be like Alrighty then let us do this let us take over the terminal i have got some blue arms just just despite being a um uh, uh, a red th th I Wow. I want to use this unlimited power, though. I want to electrocute someone with my unlimited power. I, I said I wanted to um, kill you with... I mean, they still died anyway. It's fine. But at the moment, my side are losing. I have no idea how or why we are losing, considering we've got one more flag than the other side. But don't you worry. We will change that. We will electrocute these lovely, lovely little blue people around here, and they will go... <laughs> God... Dude, unlimited power. This is awesome. This is a very freaking cool weapon. Look at this thing. It is absolutely ridiculous. We've also got ourselves the fidget spinner pistol. The fidget spinner pistol. How freaking good are you? Go <laughs> Dude, wait, 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 wait. We need to hit fire. It is actually firing our goddamn fidget spinners. I mean, you know, it's called the fidget spinner pistol. So you would like, oh dear. Oh, that you're, you're really so done. I'm just going to uh, wait for that to blow yeah, I told you. Alrighty, let us get back out there, though. Let us... Oh, my God. <laughs> let us execute a man, a poor man, flying through the air by shooting him with a goddamn fidget spinner. I am loving this little pistol, though. This is a very, very freaking good little gun. Like, it's powerful as well, which is a big bonus. Everybody just stay still. Receive your free fidget spinner. That's, that's a good thing. This is a good little pistol. I am doing some charitable work here. I'm giving out free fidget spinners. Admittedly, they are leaving my gun at quite a high speed, you know, and they are sort of killing people and... And, you know, taking them out permanently, but, but whatever, it's still, <laughs> it's still a very goddamn nice thing to do. But what is this gun like right here? I'm just going to use it on your, oh, it's explosive. Yeah, I should have known that. I absolutely should have guessed that. I, I deserve that. I absolutely deserve the bullet to the head. But nevertheless, I still don't really understand what it is or where it's from. Or, or maybe it's just something completely new. It's something completely new and made up. But I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go down here into the airplane and see who we can find. Is there anybody in here? There is absolutely nobody freaking. <laughs> Why in the world is there nobody hanging? Oh, whoa. Hey, it's purple. Why in the world are you purple and where have you gone? I just threw it and now it's disappeared completely. I don't really know what it is, but all I do know at the moment is that we need to get over there into the center and try and take the flag, which actually doesn't nope. really matter anymore. I mean, I could just come over here. I could boop you with that and then we could still try and take the flag, although I'm not feeling good about it. I'm not feeling good about it whatsoever. We're probably going to get a load of enemies spawning in around us. Just leave me alone, please. Leave me alone to do my business over here with your flag and you'll be fine. Just leave me and my lovely little men in peace, please, just to get the flag up. Holy moly, that was really quick. And, uh, well, yeah, we completely wiped out the blue scum. And I guess the only thing that's left to do now is to reward my men. These fine, fearsome warriors that have taken over the map for me and everybody else. Well, I'm just... <laughs> Reward them with unlimited power. Alrighty, now we're moving on to the Spinner of Fidgets map. I have disabled every single weapon because the only weapons I want on this one are obviously the Fidget ones. We've got the two AKs, we've got the Fidgeto Automatico Anti-Air, we've got the Backwards Fidget Spinner, we've got... 
<laughs> the sniper, the pistol, god damn, there's loads in here. So I'm going to have myself the fidget spinner AK to begin with. I'm going to stick with the pistol as well. I am going to swap this detergent weapon of thoughtism out for something else, if I may, which I cannot at the moment, so... That's not going to happen. And actually, we haven't even been able to swap out the other weapons as well. So we're just going to have to swap out the fidget spinner AK every so often. All we have to do is make sure that we get to the flags first before they do. And God... Um, uh, yeah, this thing has got quite a lot of ammunition and I uh, just got shot in. What in the world was going on back there? I legitimately have no idea what was going on with those people there. Was it the freaking... <laughs> Did the fidget spinners make them spaz out or something? I don't really know and I don't really like it. So I'm just going to try and move over here into this sort of central piece here and take the other flag. Yeah, so the game just lagged out and crashed and I am pretty sure that it's because of the amount of fidget spinners that were flying across the goddamn screen. So with that in mind, I think I'm just going to halve the amount of bots to 25 and game length we're going to go for short. All right, let's try this again. And off the bat, I'm seeing that it's a hell of a lot smoother than it was in the previous round. But whether that's going to change or not when the spinners start flying is a different question. I'm just going to go back to this middle flag over here, grab it. And actually, I should be able to take it while looking... Oh no, while looking down at you... What in the- wow. Why is it doing that? That is so bizarre. Why is it making their bodies freak out like crazy? I mean, look. I don't know. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just curious. Because it's pretty funny to watch. I will give them that. And uh, I, uh, talking about giving them that, uh, should should we give them one of these spawn areas? Because at the moment, these poor little red people, the only one that they have got is this one over here that I'm making my way towards. And there is no way in hell they are going to be able to get near any of the other ones. People, could you not do that? Could you please not team kill me with a fidget spinner? If any of you kill me with a fidget spinner, I'm going to be very, very angry indeed. And where in the world are these lovely, lovely friends? Friendly little red people, there they are. Hi, people. Um, uh, you, you, uh, your flag appears to be coming down. We, we, we. We won. I have no idea how the hell that worked out there, so I switched us around for battalions, and this time we're going to go for a game length of normal. I don't know if their spawning pattern or something like that was affected by the game length, but hopefully it'll last a little bit longer now. All right, backwards fidget spinner. What have you got for me? Is, is that really what that that is a team kill weapon? I really don't understand it. What in the world? <laughs> Is that literally what it's meant to do? It is just meant to team kill you or just to kill yourself? Like, really, why would you want to kill yourself with the... With, with, with a fidget spinner? Okay, fine, backwards fidget spinner. I'm going to swap you out. How about these anti-air? Are they any better? Or are they just spraying all over the place? They are just... <laughs> Dude, they are not- Oh, wow. That, that was everything. There is no way in hell that I'm going to be able to kill people at long range with this thing ever. But I like them, though. They are very cool-looking little pistols, and I like how fast that they fire the fidget spinners. Now, it is just really a case of actually getting a kill with them. Maybe if I were to stand over here and just do- Oh, my God. <laughs> yep, yeah, this is- uh, this, this, this That dude right there- that worked. That absolutely freaking worked. And we just captured this center area over here. So now I think I'm going to make my way over there and see if we can get that one. Just got to take out the lovely people that are walking towards me. And then hopefully we'll be able to get over there safely. If, if I can... Oh. Of course I can get them. Just be nice, okay? No killing, no nothing, no no, no enemies, no anybody around here. I, I don't know what's going on. I'd very much like to know where all of the enemies are going. I mean, there's obviously a load of them still over there, but still, that is not 25 people. I mean, there is still a load of people in that section over there, but nevertheless, that is not enough enemies. We should have more. But it doesn't matter if they want to surrender their flags to me. If they want to make this extremely easy, then I'm not going to fight against them. But you know what? If they want to make this a walk in the park, if they want to make it that easy, then I'm not going to freaking argue with them. All I'm going to do is I'm going to aim at them. I'm going to spray them with my fidget spinners. And <laughs> oh man, I like these. We're coming around the corner. Okay. I hope you're all decent. I hope you haven't got any weapons out. Oh, there is a... Oh, hey. Hey, fellas. I Hi. Hi. I just get, get rid of you and then I'll just take your flag. If you could also not spawn in right now, that would be great as well. I would... I'd really like to know where in the hell they're all going. I'm wondering if I'm not actually killing them and if they're like landing on an area down there below. So we've now captured the spawn area. Does that not mean that we are the winners? Should we not be declared the winners right now? Because they've literally not got an area to spawn from. Unless, of course, as I said, they are somewhere down here. There's a man. He's, he's following me. Why, why are you following me? Oh my goodness. And there is an area down here. That's where they're all going. They're freaking falling into the water. I don't know what I'm meant to do now. I can only see one little person over there in the distance. I think that's my friend that was falling me with me. But yeah, uh, what, what to do? I'm sort of, I'm lost. I wish the AI knew how to redeploy and respawn as well instead of being stuck down there in the nether. Because there is absolutely nothing that I can do for them right now. Literally, if I mean, if I 
get to spot one of them, which, I mean, I I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> then this game is as good as done. So do you know what, guys? With that being said, I'm just going to fire that out of the ground. I'm going to kill myself because clearly that is the best thing to do at the end of a video. And, uh, well, yeah, that is going to be the end of this episode of Ravenfield. So I really hope you've all enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button, answer my lovely little question that I left you earlier, and subscribe if you have not already as well. I've been mentioning this a lot recently as well, or a few times at least. I've also got myself a Patreon now. So if you guys want to check that out, if you want to back me on there, it would be much appreciated. But if you can't, if you don't want to, drop the likes, drop the comments, and there will be more of this for you very soon. But for now, that is it. Thank you for watching. Good.